What's going on ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> this video is definitely a lot different than my last one. In this video we've got the brand new Nexus 7. This is my old Nexus 7 showing me what the camera up above my head is seeing. Um, all right, so here we go. Brand new Nexus 7 2013 edition FHD right there. And uh, well, we want to protect this guy and keep him from getting messed up. So let's do that. Let's open this uh, case up. I'm sure you can see by the title what it is, so I'm not even gonna sit there and you'll never guess what's in here. <laughs> Cause you clicked on the video and you had to have read the title of it. A schnicker, schnicker, schnicker. Whatever this is. I don't know, mini suit. I guess it hangs on your keys or something. There you go. All right, and that's just a little product thing. This is a congratulations, you're the proud new owner of a mini suit accessory. Three easy steps. Your orders, available actions, write a product review. Bluetooth keyboard case, PU leather, detachable keyboard, pretty freaking awesome. So product features, magnetic removable keyboard converts from, converts from to stand, okay? Full access to Google Nexus 7 controls, front and rear facing camera holes. Anyways, oh, this is interesting. The built-in lithium polymer battery capacity is 450 mAh, and that's all lowercase. It uses a micro USB to charge at five volts. Standby time is about 30 days. Charging time is 2.5 hours to three hours. There we go, let's, uh, let's open it up and stop wasting time. Oh, and there's the front of it. That's what it looks like, pretty cool. You get a micro USB charging cable for the keyboard. There we go, it's empty. Throw it away. <laughs> Throw it away. Can't have too many of these, you just, you can't. There's just no way. All right, there it is. It's, uh, it feels good. It feels almost like real leather. If it's not real leather, I don't know. Uh, all I can tell you is it feels really good like a leather jacket's supposed to feel. I like it. It's awesome. So you flip this open. It's got a little thing in here. Um, somehow, some way. Oh, Velcro to keep that in there. That's nice. One of my cases, I think, from Poetic for the Galaxy Tab 2 7 inch. It doesn't have a little Velcro thing. So it kind of sucks. That it, it just like, blah, you know, whatever. You get the idea. Charge for three to four hours before first use. Go to settings. Go to Bluetooth. Make sure it's on. Turn on the Bluetooth keyboard, press the pair button, tap, touch, Bluetooth keyboard words, enter the four digit code shown on the screen. Please remember to combine FN with function keys to make it workable. Do not use wireless charger with keyboard case. Okay, so it just says that. Alrighty, so it's pretty simple. The camera is right there, so we'll just put this in like that. And then you put this behind it and it's got a little Velcro thing on the bottom. And then it doesn't slide out. And that's what I was talking about the other case I have for the Galaxy Tab 2 7 inch. If you hold it up like this, it just slides right out. It, it kind of, I don't know why they didn't include Velcro on it, but this one does, so that's pretty cool. On this side, you've got the camera, that five megapixel shooter. You've got the speaker holes right here and you've got speaker holes right here. So not have to worry about that. And then this, it's magnetic. Oh, this is too cool. This is too cool. Okay, so this stays up like that, right? All right, there you go. You see it a little bit better now. It stays up like that. It's not going to go down. And then you just put that, and it's magnetic. It's And that's a strong magnet, too. That's not weak and super easy to flip up. So we'll take you this, flip it out, and then there we go. Let me turn the light off. It's above me. Oh, and this looks adjustable. Like right here, you can actually push it down. Or not not down, but like when you first do it, it's like that. You can actually slide it all the way back like that. So. The screen looks kind of bad, but I can fix that. Just lower the ISO down to like 500. There we go. Screen looks a little better, but the keyboard's dark. 
we'll have to live with that. So there you go. There's the keyboard. There's that. So turning it on, the little switch is right here. It's got a little pair button right here. Just hold that down. It's flashing. I'll go to the settings, go to Bluetooth, turn it on. And then it's going to find this keyboard here in a second. There it is. It's pairing, it's telling me to type in one, zero, one, 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 three, and hit enter. Connected. So now I can press like the FN button in home and it takes me home. That's pretty cool. <laughs> These keys are really, really small, but let's try something out. I'll open up Twitter. I post on Twitter quite often. I know it's a little hard to see the screen. There you go, that's the best, about the best I can do. So this, I guess that just kind of sits there. You can tuck it up underneath it, and then it raises that a little bit, but whatever. So we'll go here, we'll compose a new tweet. I'll links to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, Google+, Vine, Instagram, everything will be in the description below. So, <laughs> and Fender Zach. <laughs> Fender underscore Zach is in my Swift key. So, Josh and the dog were crossing the backspace key. It's really, really small. Crossing the road when he saw a monkey come out of nowhere. He didn't. Some of these keys are really, really small. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm just letting you know. They are a little bit small. Didn't know where to go. So there you go. You can type. That's hard to see. It's hard to get. I understand. It's hard to see. But whatever. You get the idea. Typing is actually pretty comfortable. I mean, as far as the letters go. And so what if you hit like control A? It highlights everything on the screen, and then I can backspace. So what if I do, like, Josh and the dog were at the park? Then I do Control-A, and then Control-C. No, wait, I hit FN, sorry. Control-A, and then Control-C. Now if I delete that, I can actually hit Control-V and paste it. There you go. It's pasted, and it's ready to go. I really don't know how well you're seeing that. So this is what I see. It... It's, yeah, hopefully you can make that out. But that, that's the gist of it. And then to turn it off, you just turn it off. It's that simple. And turn it back on. So it's got home, mail, menu. It looks like maybe cut and paste commands. I'm not quite sure. Uh, so let's try this out. We'll turn the volume up. And then we'll turn it down. That works just fine. Oh, that mutes it right there next to the volume down. That selects everything on the screen. So yeah, these are your these are your cut and paste and select all and everything commands. So that one's paste. That one's select all. See, if I get the keyboard right, then you can't see the screen. So I'll try that again. So like that one's select all. That one's like cut. And then this one should be paste. And... Control, that's basically control A and that's control V. Select everything and then cut it and then paste it. That's pretty cool. So you don't even need to memorize the whole control commands. But if you're used to control A, V, and X like I am, then you might use that more than the function keys. So then you have your play button for your music and then you have your previous and you have your next. So that's about it. I don't know what else to say. Oh, there is a back button, so we can just keep going back. Yes, I'll discard this tweet. And then just keep going back to the home screen. So there you have it, folks. That wraps up the video. This was the mini suit Bluetooth keyboard for the brand new Google Nexus 7 FHD 2013 edition. So we'll just close it up here. Let that fold down and then tuck this in and you don't have to worry about it going anywhere or coming out 
It's pretty cool. I like it. And there's the cutout for the sensor in the front camera. Volume up and down and the power button. Links to this case will be in the description below if you want to check it out and consider purchasing it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button right next to the subscribe button and hopefully you press that as well if you're new to my channel and if you are already subscribed, thank you very much. I'll eventually create a Nexus 7 playlist with all of my videos in one link like I did for the HTC One, the S4, and so many other devices, including my NVIDIA Shield, which for you people, I'm sorry I've only done one video so far. More videos on the NVIDIA Shield will come very soon. I just got three years of Square Trade accidental drop protection warranty on it, so now I can unlock it, root it, and everything. And my warranty with NVIDIA might be gone, but it's not gone with Square Trade, so. More videos on this coming very soon. I'm also going to unlock and root this thing first thing tomorrow. It takes several hours to record this with my camera like I'm recording now and then to record my screen and combine the camera audio, the Zoom H2N audio, and the audio coming from my computer's microphone and just combine all that into one video like my Nexus 7 root video, like my S4, easiest way to root the S4 video like my S3 root video, uh, all those videos uh, give you an idea of what my Nexus 7 FHD 2013 root video is going to look like. I'm going to stop talking. Again, links to follow me on Instagram, Vine, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, everything will be at the bottom of the description below. Just click where it says click here to show more and it'll expand the description to show you everything. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.